All right, hey guys, happy Wednesday. Hey, just want to go through uh, what I want you guys to be doing today. We're going to try to progress um, into a next MATLAB assignment. This one should be a little bit easier, and I actually, uh, I think I did a pretty good job of, of setting things up for you. So um, first off, I just want to appreciate those that have reached out on uh, Flipgrid um, with both your final project as well as just the, the check-in. Um, I'm going to try to respond to those back today, um, as well as those that try to complete the MATLAB assignment from the previous week. And I know it was difficult. Um, I'm going to try to get back with those that had a chance to reach out. Um, but I just, I didn't have a chance to really kind of work through it on my own. So I wanted to try to do that before I try to reach out with any of you guys. Um, but what I did on the online class stuff, and so I don't want you to take a ton of time in finishing the last MATLAB assignment, um, or the voting systems assignment is I went through, um, and created two videos showing how I worked through either in Google Sheets or in MATLAB. I would say um, if you're not really sure of how to do it, Google Sheets is substantially easier to build it. Um, it's more of a brute force way of doing it, um, but it's definitely a little bit easier just to kind of work through because you, you're just kind of using the numbers as they are. To have MATLAB do it is a little bit more complex. And honestly, in talking with Mr. King, they did it more in Python last year where they learned Python towards the end of the year. And we're just not going to have that opportunity this year. So um, MATLAB is going to be a little bit more complicated. But I, I did create a video of how I went through um, that. And I only did it for the sample ranked votes. I didn't do it for the votes number two. Um, so don't feel like you have to do it for both of them. If you're someone who's done the MATLAB, I appreciate that. Um, if you're someone that's turned it in and you want to resubmit a second submission, I'm totally cool with that. Don't spend more than 20 to 30 minutes, though, um, on that today. Okay. What I want us to do then today is to move on to a little bit easier of a, of a setup for a radioactive half-life program. Um, here's a file that I've actually started for you, very similar to what we've done in the past. I think it's going to be easier, especially because some of us have a, a very wide range of just comfort in using MATLAB as well as just uh, a background in computer science. Some of you are like me who have absolutely zero computer science backgrounds. Um, and some of you are not like me and have a substantially higher understanding of computer science. And so that's awesome. Um, you might not even need this, but I think it's going to be helpful for those that really do. Okay. Um, the assignment is essentially, if you have, I don't want us doing the whole thing, okay? I don't want us, um, if you read through it, I just want you to build something that's going to get us values for how many radioactive atoms have not decayed, okay? So you're assuming you have 5,000 atoms. They're all going to be radioactive. Um, if they go through a half-life, uh, they're going to turn into a new atom or decay, um, and what we're trying to figure out is after 10 years, how many uh, atoms are still around? How many atoms are not decayed yet? Okay. Um, and this is more specific to like the individual atoms, not an overall picture of how many should be, but like how many atoms have actually decayed, how many individual. Okay. So I just want you to try to go through that part. What I don't want you to do this week is I don't want us to calculate the probability. Some of you can. Some of you can do that very quickly. We've done this before, um, but for this week, I just want us to focus on actually getting the program to run and actually figure out how many atoms are still radioactive, okay? Um, when you do that, here, this is what the file is going to look like that I'm going to share with you, okay? Um, so it is a little bit heavy in terms of the red font, but that's just hopefully guidance for you. What I'm going to have you start with is 5,000 atoms. Um, and let's just go for one year, right? Let's run the simulation, see if it works for one year, because we should know about how many should be left over after one half-life, if a half-life is one year. Um, and let's do two trials. And then it does take some time for when you bump this up to uh, 10 years and you bump this up to 100 trials, it does take some time. So give your computer a little bit of time to work through that. Um, but basically, this is the general layout of what you're going to need, right? Um, and each point where there is that red font, 
is to try to give you some guidance in terms of how you might build this, okay? So what I want you guys to do is spend spend some time this week. Um, don't spend really more than um, about an hour or so on this assignment um, and trying to build your program, okay? Um, what I want you to do then is submit your document and then next week when we are working on this assignment, I'm gonna be able to give you feedback so then you can adjust kind of what this file looks like for yourself, okay? Um, so I want that to be how that, and I think that'll be a little bit better for the back and forth. And I apologize for not having great back and forth with you guys um, up to this point, but I think that's gonna be helpful for us, okay? So um, reach out if you have any questions. Um, I appreciate those that have been responding on the discussion boards because I know that's very helpful. Um, but hopefully you guys are having a good week. I know it's a little bit tough getting outside this week. Not as nice as it has been, but um, I, I appreciate and miss you guys. I miss our, our time together in the afternoon. Um, and I know it's tough, especially if you're, for you guys that are seniors. Um, but luckily with having a graduation coming up, hopefully this summer, hopefully you can attend that. And hopefully that's kind of um, bringing back some of the, the excitement of, of being a senior around this time. So um, miss you guys. Appreciate you guys. Um, hope this goes well. Reach out if you have any questions.